Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you how I invent products. I'm going to make it really simple and show you how to create something that people want and how to make money. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, people ask me all the time, Steve, how do you come up with ideas that actually make money? And I'm going to show you an example of how I made some small changes to an existing product and built a company and did very, very well with something that was so simple that I'm surprised someone else didn't do it. All right, so let's talk about it. All right, first things. A good friend of mine, Rob Stefani, I've known him since he was eight years old, came to my office one day in Turlock and he said, Steve, I'm a musician. Why don't we do something different with guitar picks? I was like, well, hey, I don't play guitar and why would we even do that? He said, there might be an opportunity to do something new and exciting and I know you're very talented and you can come up with new ideas. So I looked at the basic shape of a guitar pick and James, you're gonna put that up on the screen and you can tell it's got this nice little shape to it. And I looked at it very clearly and I thought, this is really kind of cool, but that's, what they're, that's how they're made. And the reason they're made that way, they're, they're large at the top so you can hold it and they have a little, little point at the bottom so you can strum the, the, the strings of a guitar. Okay, it makes perfect sense. So I went down to the local mall, which I always do when I want to come up with ideas to be inspired. And I went to Hot Topic, which is one of those you know, one of those kind of crazy stories for kids. And I went in there and I remember walking around and someone was looking around and they saw me and I'm, I'm sure they're thinking, what is this old guy doing in this store? Because I didn't fit. But I was doing my homework. I was studying the marketplace. I wanted to see what kids were purchasing. And everywhere I looked were skulls. They were on t-shirts, on shoes. They were everywhere. But I saw this one sticker, and James is going to show you that too, of a skull. And the one thing I noticed, it kind of looked like a guitar pick. It had that the, the large part on the top, and it had that little chin would be the little part that you could strum the guitar with. And I thought, gee, I could modify that a little bit and probably come up with a different shape guitar pick. And sure enough, I did, and James is going to show you that. That was our first major... Uh, design of a new guitar pick. We called it Skull Picker. I love that name. And it went extremely well. We took it to a trade show and it just went crazy. People loved it because it was lifestyle. It was not just a guitar pick that, that worked. It worked great, but man, it had that image that people really loved, especially that heavy metal group. So I started thinking, what what else could I do to change the shape? And I started kind of imagining all the different things I could do. And James is going to show you all the different shapes of, um, well, the same shape of a skull, but all the different designs we put on it. And that we were having a lot of fun with that, but I wanted to do something more. And I, and I recognized, why not make a guitar pick in the shape of Mickey Mouse? Because it had the, the large part at the top to hold it, but it had the little chin it looked perfect to me. And here's the image of Mickey Mouse, of course. And here are Mickey Mouse picks. Now, I did get a license from Disney to make Mickey Mouse picks. And I became a Disney licensee and that opened every door in the world and people just loved it. And we created all these different designs, Disney designs on the guitar pick. Now, I'm running out of ideas. And James, which is doing this video, said to me, Steve, why don't you change the material? You see, when I come up with new ideas, I try to make small changes, like the shape of a, a, of a guitar pick. And, and the other thing is maybe the material. So James came to me and said, hey, Steve, why don't you make it out of a lenticular lens? And I remember saying to James, hey, that's a terrible idea. I have to kind of laugh at myself that I said that. Because about two weeks later, I, I went back and said, James, that's probably a brilliant idea. And it was. 
So James, here, on, on, the, on the YouTube, I'm thanking you for coming out with that idea. So we started using a lenticular lens and printing some images. And what's really great about it, you could turn it back and forth. And James is going to show you this one example of a vampire in the lips. But when you turn it back and forth, it changed images. In fact, you could put 13 frames of, of something that would move. I could take 13 frames of a movie, a Disney movie, and just by turning it, it would tell a story. Oh, movie magic guitar picks. I love that name too. So we started producing those and they were a big hit, you guys. Next, we looked at the packaging. And James is also going to put you a picture up there of like Dunlop Picks, great company. And they put guitar picks in a bag. They were kind of all thrown together. And, and some of this, the places were just putting guitar picks in like in a fishing to a fishing box, or what do you call it, uh, a tackle box. I couldn't believe it. The opportunity to change the packaging was just ripe because I didn't like how they were just thrown together. I wanted to give them the ability to highlight each guitar pick because we're going to do some really fun images and have a background so it, it, it could kind of support the image. So we started doing all these um, guitar picks, and James is going to show these too, of um, using a clamshell. And that changed everything because now we could do all these different picks with all these different designs and have a billboard and show the picks. It was just this great marketing of such a simple idea. And we were able to uh, sell these guitar picks basically everywhere. We were selling them all around the world. They were in Walmart. James is going to show you a picture in Walmart. Um, we actually, we did a lot of trade shows back then and we won best of show two years at the largest trade show in the United States down at um, Anaheim. It was called the NAM show. We won awards there two, two, two times, two years in a row for a guitar pick. Um, also, I got to meet some amazing people. In fact, um, I got to meet Taylor Swift. James is going to show a photograph with, with me and Taylor. It was such a simple change, right? So we took an idea and turned it into a product, right? And we were able to make that certain change and, and sell it worldwide. So I, I just wanted to do this video. You can see a display here of how we used to sell them with displays. So that's how I do. Uh, I come up with ideas and turn them into products. I look at an opportunity. I think a little bit differently. I start to come up with games. I, I'm influenced by going down to retail stores and I start to play with it. And before you know it, some magic happens. So thank you for watching this video. I really enjoy doing it. That's how I take ideas and turn them into products. Thanks for watching.